How's it going guys? My name's Ted Sutton and this is Direct Answers from Corporate Direct. Now before we get started, feel free to like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any general questions that you want me to address. Now, here at Corporate Direct, we set up entities for people to invest in real estate. We set up the LLC and then they use the LLC to hold title to their rental properties. Um, we're very well, well versed with real estate investors, but one question that we get a lot is whether or not you actually need to register the LLC in the state where you own the rental property. So I'm just gonna use a basic example for you guys. Um, let's say that you live in California and you wanna buy a rental property in California. But let's say that you, because you want the better asset protection that Wyoming offers, you set up a Wyoming LLC and you Hold, you make sure that uh, the title to your property is held in the Wyoming LLC, but you don't actually register it in California. So the question we get is whether or not you actually need to register that LLC in California, and the short answer to that is yes, you do. Um, and this is true in many other states as well. Uh, they have laws on the book which say that if you're conducting business in that state, if you're doing business in that state, then you need to register your entity with that respective Secretary of State. So in this example, um, we have the Wyoming LLC formed and it's not registered in California. And because of that, you can get into a lot of trouble. But first, what exactly constitutes doing business? Well, there are several things that relate to rental property owners that constitute doing business in a certain state. The first one is actually owning property in that state. When you bought that California property in California and you own it there, that counts as doing business. Another thing is if your business pays property tax in that state. You know, as it comes with ownership, if you own the property, you're paying property tax in that state. So that also constitutes doing business. Another one is advertising in the state. So if you have the California rental property, either you or your property manager would advertise to tenants or potential tenants to rent from you in that state. So that's doing business as well. Another one is entering into contracts in that state. Now, when you own the property, you're gonna enter into a lease agreement with the tenant in California, and they're gonna be living in California. So that constitutes doing business as well. And another one is that you're generating revenue in that state. When you own the rental property, you're collecting rents from tenants, and that's another thing that constitutes doing business. So, as you can see, if you own a rental property in one state, are you doing business there? Duh, of course you are. Now, the catch is if you don't register that entity, so in the example that I used, if you don't register that Wyoming LLC to do business in California, you can face some steep penalties. Um, and this is true in a lot of other states, but I'm just gonna use California as, as an example. Um, you can face fines of up to $10,000 if you don't register it there. Now, if you have an LLC in California, you have to pay the franchise tax in California and it's 800 bucks a year. But would you rather pay 800 bucks or 10,000 bucks for not registering your LLC? It's, it's pretty obvious. Um, another thing is that you could be guilty of a misdemeanor charge if you don't register it. And you can face fines of up to $600 just on that charge alone. And another thing is that some states have what we call door closing provisions. So this is where you can be sued, 
but you can't sue back. So if you have the property in California, right, let's say that the tenant trips and falls on the property. He can bring a suit against you in a California court, but let's say in the same fact pattern, the tenant didn't pay rent. You can't counter sue the tenant because you're not properly registered in that state. Now, do you really want to be in that situation where the tenant can sue you and you can't sue the tenant? No, of course not. So you don't want this door closing provision to apply to you and you also don't want to be hit with $10,000 worth of fines. So it's really important to make sure that you register your entity, your LLC in Ah, you're still here. Well, before you go, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, and if you have any general and appropriate questions about anything, please feel free to leave a comment below. If you want a free 15-minute consultation from Corporate Direct, make sure to click the link in the description below for that. Now, since I'm an attorney, I have to say this. Watching this video is not legal advice and no attorney-client relationship has been formed by you engaging in my content. I'll see you next time.